what's up guys it's scion storm and what i want to do for you today is actually teach you how to play android mmorpgs on your computer or your laptop or tablet whichever one you want to use and of course you can use it on your actual phone but the key to this today is i want to teach you how to use the um the jrpgs too which is on, on your phone it's a little bit hard you actually have to have it already in your, um, your library for Google Plus for it to actually work on the phone and then it'll work on the phone but you can't actually get it on the phone directly so this is kind of a little bit of a workaround hope you guys enjoy it and I'm actually going to start doing reviews on um, Android MMORPGs because some of them they're getting kind of good especially this game this game is ridiculous I'm going to show you this game as an actual review later maybe next week or something like that after i play it a little bit longer but it's ridiculous you see i have dragon hunter i mean dungeon hunter here i have xenonia which is just crazy and then i have monster exile which is actually pokemon it's pokemon with better graphics and i i know everybody what that's pokemon with better graphics right there so look up that if you um interested in it but as you can see here we have the site in the background what you basically do is you want to go to the bluestacks site i will give you the link for bluestacks and download the app player now what the app player basically does is allows you to actually play these games on your actual desktop as you can see in the background the one thing that you need to know with this is that you cannot use bit defender with this program people have tried workarounds people have tried everything it just does not work with bit defender so don't even get your heart your, your heart set if you have bit defender you might have to get Norton because I use Norton now. I had Bit Defender and I got rid of it. I was like, you know what? I need to do this. I, I want to play some of these games, so I got rid of um, Bit Defender and got Norton. Now the next thing you want to do is you need this link right here. It's called the APK um, Downloader, and what it does is it makes the um, the files that you actually download from Google Plus, it turns them into the files that you can actually download to your computer, and then you can turn around and use those files to download them to BlueStacks, and then you can play the game. So what that basically does is you need the actual files from um, Google Plus. Okay, now we're going to actually go into how you use games on BlueStacks. Um, I looked up already this particular game, um, Sword of the King Excalibur, you know, it looks pretty badass, and you know, I read a few reviews on it, and I want to try it out. So, you basically look for it, you type in, like, maybe Sword of the King Excalibur, and then, and Google, and then it comes up with the Google Store link, which is usually going to say, play Google, slash store, apps, etc. And what you want to do is, I want to go back to APK, you see, I just recently downloaded something, so I'm hoping it is going to let me do another one and you put it in right there you want to place it in front of that link and you hit generate link and boom it's going to allow me to do that now what's going to happen is i can basically download this to be usable oh that's a lot that's a pretty big file so this game might be actually pretty good i can download that and it's going to make a blue stack file it's going to look like that bam you click on that installing apk now hopefully if the game works you see because some of them actually don't work for blue stacks um i was trying this ava bell one earlier and it did not work it kind of broke my heart okay and now sword of king is right there so i'm gonna double click on that and we're gonna see if we're in action let me pull this down hopefully this will be one that works yeah we're in action look at that that's pretty wait for it to load now what this basically does is this opens up a whole bunch of stuff for you it's like a whole new world of gaming that you can actually take on now that you can actually you know play this and i know you know this is stuff that should be played at home i mean on any like in, at a tablet not at home but you know why, why not why not oh loading resources okay it's not done yet now pretty much anything android you know the android games that you would see there oh, i can't play those or whatever else not you throw it on boost x and now you can actually use it it's pretty much all that it's all you really need to do now i'm also going to show you this particular one because this is supposed to be like the one of the best games for android as far as action is made by touch food it's supposed to be just like mario and legend of zelda put together so I want to play a game like this, so this is the very next thing. I've I haven't gotten it yet. I'm not sure if I can actually even still download it, but I'm gonna try because I might be at my quota. It's usually like like two, 
you try to do and it'll be like nah you can't have no more you gotta wait for an hour it's gonna let me do it so I'm gonna download that too give me that sword ego so that's pretty good so I actually have both of those you can see me pretty much download this one too and hopefully it'll work with no issues okay after a little while as you can see this works now it took a little while to load so I can basically choose a character See, it's all working coming soon. You know what? I'm just gonna go with the knight. Let's make a name. You know what name I'm gonna use. Trying to figure out how to move. So I guess I have to do that then. Pow! Got a little bit of lag on it. I'm probably gonna have to make the screen a little bit smaller. Guys, as you can see here, I got this started. This is Sordigo. I guess I hit start. They said this is controller compatible. I do have a PS3 controller in, but I don't think it's gonna work directly like that. If it does, that's great. I've never seen a PS3 controller work that way. Because what basically I can do is I can actually use a controller for this. Same thing that you guys can do. And you can actually set your settings to whatever you want to set them to as well. So other than that, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed doing it for you. You guys be legendary. And if you have any problems, just ask me in the video. I'll hook you up. Peace. Thanks for watching another episode of SSG. If you liked what you see, please subscribe like my videos follow me on twitch and you know get at me i'm on google plus i'm on facebook anything that you feel comfortable in talking other than that be legendary see you